Welcome art friends. This week we're going to be starting our rodeo competition art. We'll be making sheep. So what do we need to make our sheep? For those of you in class, I'll be sharing with you in class what we're going to be using. For those of you at home, you can use crayons, markers, paints, whatever you have available. Let's get started. We're going to draw along together. So everybody's going to need their pencil and paper. And we're going to start towards the top of our paper, making a cloud for the top hair of our sheep. You're going to make curved lines into a big fluffy cloud. You're going to want to do this at the top of your paper or towards the top. And you're going to want to make sure it's big enough that you can draw a big face for your sheep. Once we have our fluffy cloud hair, we're going to want to make the face. We're going to make the face by drawing a big U shape from the bottom of one side of the cloud to the other. It's a big U shape. Next, kind of in the middle of your sheep's face, you're going to want to draw or trace two eyes. You can use a quarter to trace your eyes or just draw them by yourself. After that, from the bottom of the face, you're going to draw a line up for the mouth. You're going to draw a V shape for your nose. You can kind of fill it in and make it a big thick line. Next, we're going to draw our sheep's ears. You can draw a big loop-de-loop -loop on each side. Loop-de-loop. -loop. It's okay if they're not quite the same on each side. So what's next? We're going to drop the top of our sheep body. We're going to do the same kind of bumpy, wavy lines that we did for our cloud hair. All the way across the paper. On top of our sheep and below the face, below the sheep. Bumpy, curved lines. You're going to want to draw slow and careful. After we have our sheep's head and body, we're going to need to draw some legs. So you can draw two straight lines to make one leg on one side of the paper. And then we're going to do that again on the other side of the paper. Two straight lines. Good job. Now that we've drawn the outline of our sheep, we're going to want to fill our sheep in. We're going to use different colored oil pastels or crayons or markers to make spiral lines. We're going to fill up our whole sheep with different color swirls. You can do different sizes, different colors, but we're going to work hard to fill in all of the space. Sheep have lots of curly hair, so you're going to want to make lots and lots of spirals to show all the curves and colors. Now you don't have to use all the colors you have. You can pick one color or you can pick two or three colors or like me, I'm using all the colors. It's up to you. You're the artist. I think for my sheep's head, I'm going to use all white so that it looks different from the sheep's fluffy body. I'm also going to trace my lines of my fluffy cloud to make them stand out better. And I'm probably going to trace around all my white lines of the face. I'm also going to color in my eyes, maybe give it some eyelashes and just make sure all of that shows up nice and clear. We can also decorate our background. I'm going to make some grass for my sheep to stand in. And you can make your grass by making lots of different triangles. Be sure to color it in. Next week, we'll be finishing our sheep. So I can't wait to see what you've done. Until then, bye for now, art friends.